Well, today was nearly the day we got mauled by the Tigers, which is words that shouldn't be leaving my mouth, but they are. Um, it, it was a painful watch today. Uh, I, I really do not know what to make of the structure because I don't know what the structure is. Um, I feel like the tactical changes we're sort of making isn't complementing us at all, and I think it's just confusing the squad as a whole. Um, I don't want to be negative. I do not like slating players, but I think the result today... I think we're quite fortunate it was a 1-1. Um, I, I think I think our attacking momentum is starting to get concerning. I think even with the mistake of the goal we conceded and the manner we conceded in, I still have faith in our defence. I think our defence is good enough for, for this league and I think players like CJ Egan Riley is really showing his confidence and his ability under pressure. And I think Estev is really showing, you know, as he's done for, for a while now, that he is a prominent spot in the, in the championship and he'll continue to thrive in the championship. Um, I'm really happy that Conor Roberts is back, uh, although he's been back for a couple of games now. I think his, um, his presence in the game was showing. He really did help build the very little momentum we had. Um, and I think defensively he really uh, held his own uh, against that right side. Um, so that was good to see. Uh, Enoch Age um, got his debut, and I, I really like that he got his debut and was so in his debut. Although it weren't a lot of minutes, I found that Enoch uh, settled into the game very quickly. He got comfortable playing very quickly, and for someone his, at his age, and to settle in so fast on his first debut is a very positive sign. And it seems like he could definitely be a player that will be impactful from the bench, um, which is great. Uh, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and a lot of commotion regarding Kaliosho. And I think, I don't think Kaliosho has been the same uh, after his injury. I think Kaliosho is definitely more natural um, on, on the left side. But I think with all that in mind, some of his decision making was quite poor today and again I don't like slating players publicly it's not the kind of thing I want to do um, I do think you know the way he dribbles and the confidence he has coming up against players is good but I think some of the mistakes he's making he's really got to cut them out because it's going to harm the team and if if this was a team in the Premier League or against a team like Sunderland who are thriving at the moment we, it would have really, really cost us. And it sort of cost us tonight because we weren't, weren't able to get three points. But nonetheless, we did get a draw. Um, I think that makes it 80 games in the championship where we've only lost four, which is absolutely mental. I think, um, I think Fleming struggled tonight, but I think that's more on the side of he's out of position and he's sort of not used to, um, not used to the sort of, position he's playing in, although he did score tonight, which is a bit uh, contradicting. And it's the same with sort of Anthony. I think Anthony struggled a bit tonight, but again, he just came out of nowhere and, you know, ass assisted a, a very good goal. Um, I still have faith in this squad. I think we have a lot of quality in this squad. I do think we're lucky in the, in the fact that the league as a whole is lacking the quality that it used to have. These com compare this league to the league we've seen a couple of years ago, it is really, really dropped off. And I think we're lucky in that sense. And I think that when you look at it from our perspectives where you could see we struggled, you could see the structure's not there, our, our midfield, midfield dilemmas, and we're still coming away with something from every game, I think it does show the quality on our squad. And I, I, do, I do sometimes finish games such as this one thinking, I have no idea how we come away with a point. Um, I, I, I really don't. Um, all in all, when we're sort of talking about the midfield side of things, um, I did. I, I originally kind of agreed with the idea of putting Hannibal in for Josh Loren, and it's not because of Josh Loren's form, because everyone knows he's been phenomenal for us. And as soon as he came on, he, he switched on straight away and <laughs> proved that he shouldn't have been on the bench. But I quite liked it because you have to think of player care. You have to think of th this is a free free day gap since his last match. And we do not want to injure Josh Sorin. We really do not want to knacker him out. And for a midweek game, it's always going to be tough and you're always going to have to switch players out. Um, 
But I, I'm, I'm sort of seeing it from the perspective now of Josh Cullen and Josh Brownell are very influential members in our dressing room. And as individual players, they are very good. As a partnership, which some people have mentioned online, as a partnership, they don't work. And, they, and it's, it's clear as day and it's, it's not working now. But it's also a case of do we put Brownhill in the ten and then you know Lauren in the in in a holding midfield kind of position? Does that even work? You know, it's the midfield is a dilemma that I even I couldn't I can't figure out. Um, and we've not even touched about our striker, uh, attacking mid midfielder sort of partnership dilemma with that as well because I personally think Fleming should be a ten, but he's sort of forcing the striker role now because we don't really have anyone else. So it's a lot of things are in the air. Um, it is it is a struggle. I think saying that we're nine games in, it might be ten now, um, and we're still trying to find our feet. Is it's it feels like that's worrying because I feel like a lot of people would agree that we're still trying to find our feet. But then you look at our form in the table, and I believe we we're second or third. Um, so it's really hard to digest today's game in the sense of. Where does that leave us? Are we better off? Are we worse off? Because we still got we still got a point from the game. We didn't lose, uh, and although our performance looks bad, um, the statistics favour us, and the point favours us. As silly as silly as that may sound, um, all in all, I my biggest concern is the structure of of and the sort of style we are trying to play. The players that we're the the players that we're positioning, a lot of players are out of position, and where we sort of go from here, is it going to go stale? Is it going to keep going? I I really cannot predict the future um, regarding where where we go from here, and I think that's where my concern lies. But as I've mentioned previously on live shows and other bits and bobs, defensively, although we did make that mistake, um, I I, I still have full faith in our defense. Is a reason why we've had. Four clean sheets on a row. Obviously, today not the case. Um, I think a lot of hate goes to CJ Egan Riley, and I'm not too sure why he's very young and he's really stepped up when he's needed to be stepped up. Uh, because of the injuries, um, we still got players to come back like Bayer and Ekdal, uh, and a couple of others. And obviously, Lyle Foster will come back, and hopefully, he'll come back and make some sort of impact. But, but yeah, a bit of a hard one to digest today. Um, it's it's. It's the most confusing game ever because I really don't know how to feel at the end of it. I really don't know what to take at the end of it. Is it is it a good sign for us? Is it bad sign for us? Because we're still getting points at the end of the day. Who knows? Who knows? I think our biggest challenge will be against a team like Sheffield United or I'm trying to think of another team that's top side. It's really hard to say. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I could be completely wrong on everything I say. Um, you might disagree with me and that's completely fine. Uh, but leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, it'd be great to see what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Take care.